Now we are going to make a visual loop. But before we do that, we must make a thumbnail for YouTube. That will also be useful when matching the colors. So we are going to use the same procedure as before. But we must change again the dimensions of our image. The thumbnail must be wide, not a square as before. So I just pasted there the graphics. And we are going to do the same things over. The visual loops for YouTube is a new trend. Something for the listener to watch during playback. YouTube was not originally designed for music. It was designed for videos. But somehow we exploit it by uploading too much music. So it's a nice idea to include also visual content rather than having a still image. When you are assigned to make a visual loop for a particular cover, you have to somehow animate your graphics. You have to think of some sort of animation that will match your assessed image. So for this kind of cover, the most reasonable idea is to make the waters move. Because if you keep the ocean still, it will look unnatural. And our goal here is to create a relaxing ambience, not an awkward sight. So I guess the most important lesson is to realize how you'll do something is not the main issue. The hard question is what to do. Once you figure out what you want to do, then you can start looking for the way to do it. You can always look for helpful resources and improve your outputs. This is a ready-made video loop that I found on the web, which technically speaking is pretty similar to our own art, taken from the same angle. We are going to mix it with our own image, match them, in order to bring the ocean to life. For making our video, we are going to use Sony Vegas. I'm going to create two video layers and the third one with our previous creation. So first thing I'm going to do is to match the colors of the videos by using our thumbnail. I will do the same on the second layer. The next thing I'm going to do is chop it right in the middle. Because if you remember the sky was blur and we need to do the same here make the sky blur that's why I made two layers one layer will be the clear ocean and one layer will be the blurred sky And I'm going to match all these layers by adjusting the brightness and the contrast. At the end you can add more effects like color correction or color balance, but they are not necessary, even though I used them for making the official version. Anyway, we are adjusting here the brightness and if you take this down, you decrease the transparency and you can see your cover art at the background. 
I'm slightly playing with the transparency because I want to match the video with my image. As you can see a small percentage of transparency is enough. Now we have to duplicate our animation and reverse it because we want to make a loop and the loop has to end exactly where it began and to do that we must paste it here reversed and now we are ready to render our file Our loop is ready. This is how it looks. The waters are not still anymore. Surreal environment achieved. And this is another version that was actually used. For some reason I kept a bit of the mountains. And you can see online the actual cover art for this bundle. Mind cooler. And on Ghost Label Records official channel, you can see the video loop that went online with the album. But if you want to view this in high quality, you can follow the links and find it. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that was not too boring. Cheers.